Hi, welcome back after the short break here. And now in this episode, we want to really take a good look at um, the five dietary fiber food groups, sticky fiber food groups, and the breakdown of the sticky fiber, soluble fiber, which is the gelatinous fiber, versus the insoluble fiber or roughage fiber that doesn't break down in water, that just really cleanses and detox your system, as opposed to the sticky fiber, which kind of gels together and it creates that environment for your, uh, your microbiome, your, your, your probiotics to live in your, in your system and to cleanse all those through as well. So look forward to, uh, to this episode, it's gonna be super. Again, I'm Miles Betcher, uh, uh, health sciences is my specialty uh, with, uh, with going to the University of Massachusetts Lowell. We have an amazing program there and what I've learned since and I've added on to all that knowledge that I've gained about how to eat to keep your uh, circulation uh, healthy, how to keep your, uh, pl you know, living a, a plant-based diet and keeping the plaque free from your arteries, having re such a reduced risk of illness uh, because of a plant-based diet. It's just been incredible and I look forward to sharing more with you. Let me, let me get started here on, on this one here. This one here is uh, one of ours that uh, sticky fiber stops the cravings. You can see here the five sticky fiber food groups is the vegetables, the fruits, nuts and seeds, grains, and beans and legumes. And this is a great example of how to put those together, right? How to put them together into your meals. If you have a couple, you, you pick from there and you create a meal. Pick from here, create a meal. Put things together so that you know you're eating what you like. Because again, it's not about uh, we're not here uh, at M3 and Mind Muscle Memory and our team to, to tell you, oh, you have to do this, you have, we're going to give you the guidance, we're going to give you the learning, how does a muscle work, how does our digestion work, how do we, how do we create a foundation of, of strength and performance, those are all going to come. So let's talk more about detox, right, detoxing our system and working on uh, the detox of our, our body fat levels, the detox of our digestive system. So here we have the, the soluble fiber um, breakdown. So soluble fiber versus insoluble fiber. And each food group is here, right? And on those food groups, it breaks down the serving size and the um, uh, amount of soluble versus ins and insoluble fiber in that serving size. So we made it a little bit simpler for you. So you can transfer this over as you're creating your meals to your, your, your food journal, okay? And in that food journal, you'll be able to write down the soluble fiber that you're getting because we want to have that add up. So again, on here, we talk about that we want to get four grams of soluble fiber per meal and snack, four grams. And that doesn't ha take a lot of food sometimes. But what's going to happen is because you're getting four grams out of three different food groups. So as I said earlier, walnuts, apple, and, um, and sweet potato. Right, so if, uh, if we're making sure we put those together for a small meal, then uh, well, what we're looking at is it's going to have enough soluble, sticky, gelatinous fiber that it gels up in your holding tank, the stomach. So the stomach can expand, hold it, right, and it has to pre-digest, and it should be pre-digesting for 60 to 90 minutes. So you're li you're actually going to be okay. Don't try to guzzle it down. Don't try to like disrupt it too much. You don't need to push that down. You actually need to let it sit there and let yourself relax, chill. So be thankful that you just had such a nice combination of nutrition and, and actually plant-based foods that you are able to then sustain your digestion, sustain your output of your muscles and replenish your body and, and, and work through that. So as we have that meal, We've taken the three different food groups, have four grams of sticky fiber, soluble fiber in combination, and it's, it's gonna be part of your detox, right? So in order to get your body fat levels down, you have to then make sure as you follow your meal journal in the program, is to Monday, Tuesday, you're reducing the calories to 65%, the active male, 1855, and the active female, 1430 calories, and you're doing that for Monday, Tuesday, and then that's it, because you can't keep going reducing your calories below an active level. Because if you do, you're gonna slow that metabolism down. So you bring the third day, Wednesday up, you bring that up, um, and then you bring it to just an active level. Obviously, you don't wanna overeat, you wanna just bring it up, 
three, four, 500 calories, wherever you need to go to get it back to the active metabolism. And that goes to 100% of what you're burning now. And you can do a lot of that tracking on apps and watches and all these things. You'll know where you are for your, for your um, uh, active metabolism. Then for Thursday, Friday, you bring it back down again so that you're setting yourself up to, again, cleanse your digestive system with the dietary fiber, reduce the body fat another couple days worth because you're at a, at a differential where your, your body's gonna tap into body fat storage as you go through your day, but you're not going so low that you're, you're setting up an, a slow metabolism, okay? And that's also what happens if you go down below, uh, too low, below 65% uh, calories of an active metabolism, and you do that, then that's gonna slow your metabolism down as well. So we wanna keep it right at that level and then bring it back up over the weekend, and then you can start again next week, okay? So this is a repeatable thing until you get your body fat levels just to where you want them to be. You feel cleansed, you feel detox, not only in your digestion, but also your body fat levels, and the body feels great. So you can continue then to keep an active metabolism intake, right? So at the end of this is when you keep an active metabolism intake and you're balancing that, right? And you keep improving your metabolism by getting stronger, being able to go longer for your cardio, being able to go longer for your HIIT training, be able to do more strength, whichever thing you need for your performance, but continue to, to, to build that apex and make sure your muscles are equalized and that you're fit, healthy, strong, and you can keep it going with a plant-based diet and feel like you're always clean, you're always cleansed, your body fat levels are in check, and you're feeling great. So look forward to seeing you on the ne next episode after we just covered um, the, the meal journal, the, the, the substitutions that you can put in for the, uh, for the different uh, foods that we have on the, on the sticky fiber uh, outline, and, uh, and then you go from there. So look forward to seeing any questions, let me know, and we look forward to seeing you on the next episode. Thank you so much.